we arrive in uh, East Berlin. We uh, we are so tired uh, for the for the very hard uh, journey to the uh, East Berlin, and uh, we we just uh, sitting in the bus. Uh, somebody sleep. Uh, somebody is eating. Somebody is drinking beer. Or, uh, we're talking, and uh, we felt just around the, the big mess. So many people is coming, uh, is um, shouting something, uh, and uh, we go from the to the uh, from the bus and asking people what's happening, what's what's this mess <laughs> around, and they told us, they, they, the the Berlin is uh, broken, the wall is broken, we are free, <laughs> we are freedom. <laughs> For 41 years, Germany was a divided country. From 1961 until 1989, a wall even split Berlin in two. The western half was part of democratic West Germany. The eastern half belonged to communist East Germany. And it guarded its borders zealously. Anyone who tried to escape was arrested or shot. Other Eastern Bloc countries weren't free either. The Soviet Union forcibly annexed the Baltic states of Estonia, Latvia, and Lithuania in 1940. By the late 1980s, opposition to the Soviet occupation was growing. Saulius Ubonavicius, better known as Samas, and his band Bix fought for Lithuanian independence, and they were in Berlin when the wall fell. You know, the situation in politician in Lithuania is so bad. But we're here and we play music. It's a band of Lithuania! Uh, when this big wall is broken, it was a symbol for the freedom. Uh, it was a symbol for the us uh, that we can do it too. The rock band Bix was founded in 1987. The lyrics of their songs often criticized the Soviet occupation. In the late 1980s, the Palace of Concerts and Sports was one of the largest venues in Vilnius. Playing there seemed like an impossible dream for a politically active band like Bix. In that time, we can't express uh, ourselves free. Uh, we, we can't uh, play the rock music. We can't uh, do the art what we, uh, what we, what we want to do. Uh, so uh, everything was, was strict, just the ideological, just uh, the, that's the way what, uh, what they say you must do. But, but we try it. We try to do something uh, and we try to do something illegally. Uh, and um, we built with my friend the band, <laughs> was calling the Bix, uh, and we we made the I illegal album. Uh, and uh, this album is go uh, to the like I illegal by hands to hands. And uh, um, and uh, after that, the the KGB is catching me and uh, and say, okay, you are anti sovietic uh, you not right guy, you must go to the Soviet army. Samas had to interrupt getting his art degree and serve for two years in the Soviet army. By the time he returned to Lithuania, the restructuring known as perestroika had begun. People enjoyed more freedoms. In 1988, the Lituanica Music Festival was held in the Palace of Concerts and Sports. The German band Die Totenhosen performed. We have first concert here in um, this biggest uh, national sports and uh, concert hall and uh, there's uh, first time the bands from the abroad and uh, Tottenhausen management uh, the makes us chance to make the concerts in the West Germany and uh, that's why we there in uh, in uh, Berlin in the this November of 89 The fall of the Berlin Wall strengthened the fight for independence in the Baltic states of Estonia, Latvia and Lithuania this struggle came to be known as the Singing Revolution. Samas and Bix were part of it. At the Lithuanian parliament, a barricade and a museum full of photos serve as reminders of that era. We go there to support the people who are standing here for the keep this parliament free. And uh, there's many people, there's uh, fireplaces, there's a barricade. Uh, and we walk and talking with the people because uh, the people know me from the band, the Bix, uh, like Samas, and uh, I can help him to, to have a good condition for the 
standing and fight for the, our freedom. It was during this time that Bix recorded its first album. What is now the Presidential Palace was simply an office building back then. We standing in front of uh, President Palace, but for me it's another thing. I uh, remember it's uh, it was uh, our first album record label. We signed here the contract <laughs> in the 90s and start to record our first album uh, behind this building. There was a studio, and in that moment. I remember these horrible things, what started in Vilnius, uh, the, the Russian army comes uh, to, to make this end of our revolution. Uh, in the day we were recording in the studio and uh, at, at the evening and night uh, we standing uh, behind the parliament uh, where is uh, the barricades uh, and the people uh, standing for the freedom. And this is, was an uh, amazing time, we were recording and go to the barricades and uh, this is, was... Uh, no, this, this is album is, um, is have this feeling. In 1990, Lithuania declared its independence. But the following January, the Soviets sent in their troops. They seized this press house, for instance. In all, 14 civilians were killed. It was singing revolution. It's one part of singing revolution. And uh, my band uh, is coming here to play for the people who are standing for the, this building freedom. Because uh, the, it was our free press. And we must keep it as this. Uh, and uh, uh, when Russian troops is coming here, I remember the tanks uh, and and the soldiers and people standing and we playing and everybody singing <laughs> and and try to keep this this building free ultimately the people prevailed and lithuania got its independence i was an artist uh, i all my life uh, i i want to be an art, artist to, to do the things uh, uh, interesting for me and, and, uh, and to the share with the people uh, what I think, what I, uh, uh, what I want. Uh, in Soviet time I can't express myself and I always was in opposition and always was in illegal. And when the, the, the walls broken, the Berlin walls broken and singing revolution comes and well, we, when it becomes the way free, uh, now I feel exactly what I want to feel. I can't speak what I want, I can sing what I want. Let's do it with the sound, fucking give me a start. 